How's it going guys and welcome to today's country round where we'll be taking on the bombers at the MCG. Cats are three and three at the moment. We've managed to wrap up some pretty decent form after a pretty terrible 0-3 start uh, to start the season but looking pretty good. Had some pretty strong wins against the Hawks, the Eagles and most recently the Swans. Uh, at GMHBA last week. If you didn't check out that vlog, make sure you do. And now we're going to be versing a team that's been doing a bit better in terms of the grand scale of the season. And look, I'm not really sure what to expect today. Um, I'm hoping obviously for a win. We should be good enough to get a win. Uh, with that being said, I think we have a side that should be strong enough to get us a result. And Hopefully that does get us a result. So I'm thinking the Cats should be able to get a win here. I think it should be comfortable if we play the way we've been playing the last few weeks. But only time will tell. If you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss the future videos. And I will catch you guys in the ground. J Long! J Long! J Long! J Long! J Long! We only just made it to our seats, but Closey manages to get the first goal for us from a very tight angle. Brilliant kick in the end, and he gets us going. Looks like we might get him out here. Oh, it's bouncing at the first goal. We can believe it. Tony Hawkins, as I'm doing the wrap up for the Closey goal, has marked it virtually in the goal square to be the easiest kick that he'll ever kick in his career. Walter straight in, and that's goal number two for the Cats. Two good out. We're looking good. Finds a man on Jeremy Cameron. Jeremy Cameron going through his routine for the first goal of the match for him at least. Yeah! On through the big sticks. Jeremy Cameron gets his first. And that brings up to Long's third for the match. Tom Hawkins has taken a juggling mark inside the forward 50 and he's going to be having a shot for goal number two for his personal tally and the fourth for the Cats. Make sure he goes through his routine properly to nail the goal. It's not the easiest kick to nail. And as you can see there, he has scraped it back. That left to right action proves to be too strong for the ball as he gets his second goal for the match. Tommy too strong in the contest there. Danger bursts out of the middle and does a deep kick into the 50 and it always had Hawkins name on it, it was just a matter of winning his 1v1s and we know how deadly Hawkins is in that 1v1 contest, there's not many that he's not going to win and now he gets rewarded go with on, a third attempt go on, at Come the shot on goal. And there is just nothing this defender can do right now. Hawkins is going to be having his fourth shot attempt. I wonder what's going through his mind right now. I don't know if you saw. He, he literally just turned around. And like, what am I doing? He just looked a bit clueless. He just wasn't really sure. Like, should he be more in front? Should he stay behind? Did he try to maybe get a hip into it? Doesn't know. But Hawkins is going to be trying to have another shot into goal. That's his fourth goal for the match already, it's only the first quarter. So the Bombers have won a free kick in their forward 50 for what I assume is a marking infringement. I'm not really too sure to be honest, but it does mean that after we've kicked six unanswered goals, the Bombers will finally have a shot attempt to try and get some sort of score on the board, whether that's a goal or behind to get a response here. 
The Cats have been off to a very hot start, but we've got Sam Draper, who's going to be having his first kick onto the goals. And he has nailed it, so the Bombers do finally get on the board with one of their own. Well done, Zach! Well done! Oh, Zach! I'm not really sure where this is going to go, but we do have one of the main men in the Bombers side, Jake Stringer, sorry, uh, going to be lining up for a goal attempt. This is actually his second attempt onto the goals. Was it successful on Red Stringer's score last time? This time, he will nail the goal. Pretty easy kick in the grand scheme of things. And it does give the Bombers their second goal for the match. Bombers get couple of goals late in the first quarter, which is a bit annoying despite the dominance that we've had for the majority of the quarter. We'll see how the quarter finishes. Hopefully we can get one more before the siren blows. <coughs> oh, it's a one and only. Cardman. time here at the MCG and the Cats are up by about four to five goals. Dominant quarter from the Cats so far and Tom Hawkins, let's talk about it. What an absolute mission he's been on so far in the first quarter. Every single defender would get chucked onto him and he would just constantly win the 1v1 after 1v1 after 1v1. He's been dominant and I think he's trying to prove a bit of a statement today that, you know, hey, Jeremy Cameron's great but I'm here too, you know one and only so great quarter so far from the cats bombers do get a couple of goals late to kind of keep them in it keep them within touching distance but gee we look pretty good so far we're playing a lot better than we have in the first three weeks of football i tell you that for sure if the cats keep playing the way that they played in that first quarter we're going to be pretty hard to catch today so we'll see what happens you know football's a funny game nothing's really concrete for certain but so far, so good for the Cats. Let's see if we can keep it up going to the second quarter and see what happens. I'll catch you guys with the footage during the second quarter. Come on, Cats! Let's keep going! Great link play there from the Cats and getting the switch on as well. Yes! Jeremy Cameron has kicked it basically straight away to nail his second goal for the match. And the Cats seven. Get him! After we've turned the ball over, the Bombers turn it over basically straight away, giving it straight into the hands of Oli Henry. And he's been a very, very good player for us so far. A bit inconsistent at times, but when he's been on, he's been quite the showman. So for his potential first goal of the match, does he nail it through the big sticks? It's looking good. The supporters like it, the Cats like it, and so does the goal umpire. And that gives us an eight goal for the match. So the Bombers have managed to just score a goal, as you can just see it. That gives them the fourth goal for the match. And the Bombers are starting to 
build a little bit more fight into them, which is not really what we want, obviously, but it does mean that they're now within a reasonable touching distance, only about five goals the difference. They're not really worried just yet, but we do need to make sure we do get a goal or two ourselves to try and make sure that we keep ourselves in complete control for at least the remainder of this quarter. Okay, Rowan has taken a mark inside the Ford 50 after we get an absolute blitzing start, no pun intended, out of the center square going straight to Rowan with the Ford 50 mark. And he will be having a shot for, I believe it's his first attempt onto the goals. So we'll see if he can get himself in the score sheet today. Should be able to nail this, it's not the hardest kick in the world, but we'll need to go through his fingers. And he has nailed that. Pretty solid in the end, and the Cats get their ninth. Sav just a bit too slow to the contest there. The Bombers, after we get a goal, are now having a shot onto the goal themselves. As you can see here on the screen, just Sav just a step and a half, probably a bit too late, trying to make it a contest out of that. And Weedman will be having a shot onto the goals to give the Bombers their fifth. And he has nailed it. So the Bombers get their fifth for the match, keeping it competitive so far. Jump! the defenders today, it doesn't matter what defender goes on to him, he's just winning the contest every single time. And he will be having a shot attempt for goal number five. Yeah! That's the fifth goal for him in the match, and the Cats 12th. Half time siren has sounded. And it looks like they are going to be having a shot to try and get a goal before half time. It's going to require a bit of a roost from him to make the distance, I think. I'm not too sure. Yeah! Not the accuracy. And we're going to half time with a pretty commanding lead. The Cats looking pretty strong so far at the MCG. Alright, we've reached half time here at the MCG, and the Cats are up by about 44 points. Pretty good quarter so far, pretty good half so far, all things considered. Hawkins has kicked six for the match and we've got a couple of other goal contributors at the moment and it's been a pretty good half, all things considered. Essendon had a pretty decent fight back there to keep it within reaching distance, so we haven't really blown them away yet, but a 44 point lead at half time is still pretty good, all things considered. And I think for the most part, we still have that control for the Come match. Come and get us! We've still got a few confident catch supporters that we should get the job done though, so... I think we are in the driving seat, it is fair to say. 
it's kind of our game to lose kind of thing. The Bombers, they're going to have to find a way to respond because 44 points at half time, that's a bit to dig into. They're going to need a bit more momentum. They're going to have to find more options than Jake Stringer to try and get a couple more goals. So far, so good for the Cats. We're playing pretty well. We'll see how we go into the next half. Let's see if we can keep it up and get ourselves a good win. Go Cats! Take us fishing. Oh. Let's get another one from the quarter, and it's from the end of Dylan Shield. Court is a bit loose in the forward 50 and nails it pretty comfortably in the end, all things considered. And against the Bombers, they're known for the match, and they're starting to creep up on us. We're going to have to get a goal quickly to respond to this momentum that they're trying to build. Manages to get himself loose and gets on to the end of it for the Cats 15. So Tippin Woody has managed to win a marking contest inside their 450. He's going to be having a shot onto the goals. It's a pretty tight angle. He's actually opted to go short. Weedman. Snapping around the body. He has nailed it. He gives the Bombers their 10th for the match. And all of a sudden, it's now down to just a 30-point lead. So Jake Stringer, as you can see on the screen, has kicked his fourth for the match. Again, just another bit of a scrap in defense, and I'm not really sure how he's missed that one on the boot, but leads to a possession for the Bombers. Chip it around a little bit, eventually get it to Stringer. And Stringer does the rest, nails the goal, a much needed goal for the Bombers, and it cuts the margin ever so slimly, 23 points, and now it's game on for the Cats, they're going to have to pick it up and pick it up quickly, oh, he hasn't called him up, you're an arse, I don't know how I must have been touched with the boot, come on, come on, confusion there but in the mess of all the confusion the Cats managed to get the intercept Danger grabs onto it and gives it straight to Hawkins who's been a lethal man in front of the goals today he's already kicked six and he's going to be attempting goal number seven should be able to nail this Uncontested through the goals and gives the Cats 17th for the match. Alright, guys, third quarter time here at the MCG, and the difference of the points is, I believe, it's about 36 points. It's, it was a bit of an arm wrestle there in the third quarter, kind of not really going either one way for either team, but. The Cats hold out strong, the Essendon Bombers have obviously tried to respond there with a few more goal attempts and a bit more scoreboard pressure, cutting the margin even down to I believe it was 26 at one point, but managed to stabilise there and get a couple of goals back, build a little bit more momentum, and we're at this kind of weird deadlock at the moment, but the difference is we're up 36, so it could be a lot worse. I think, I think we're pretty good so far to probably get the win. If we just keep this kind of arm wrestle going, we should be able to walk away with the four points today. 
and hopefully we do. So, can't really complain. A bit 50-50 at the moment, but the scoreboard is probably saving us at the moment. So, I'll take that going into the last quarter, and hopefully I'll come back to you guys with a win. So the Bombers get loose on the wing with a chain of passes going deep into Tipper Woody who was pretty much in a paddock. Not really sure what happened to the defence team. It as well. Great mark there inside the forward 50. Had to try and juggle that with about one arm. Leach reached out with both and managed to caress it into his chest and has been rewarded with a shot inside 50 at his attempt at goal. He will elect to go around the body with a snap. Yes! Max Holmes gets his first and gets the Cats 19th for the match. So we find ourselves loose and Patrick Dangerfield, the captain, gives a quick little stab kick to Hawkins inside the forward 50. He's probably going to have to kick it about 45 on a pretty tight angle. He has kicked seven for the matches we alluded to prior. And he is going to be going for goal number eight. Come on. Come on. Bombers get another one in jump time and it's cut into what's been a dominant lead for us into a measly 28 points. We are still going to get the dub and the four points but geez it would have been a nice percentage boost there if we didn't concede a few of these late ones but we'll take the win as it is and move along into next week. Time here at the MCG, get the job done by 28 points. A bit flattering in the end, all things considered, but we'll take the win, we'll take the four points. That's four on the trot now for the Cats, and it looks like we're playing a lot better recently, but our defense probably still needs a bit more work to kind of fix the errors that we're still making, the disorganization that we have. Uh, in the defense, but our forward line's looking really good. Our forward line is cooking. Tom Hawkins kicked eight. I think Cameron kicked three. Looking pretty good so far. Thank you for watching, guys. Like I said earlier, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell. I will see you guys in the next vlog video. Make sure you guys stick around for that. Thanks for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever time it is you're watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Go Cats!